Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, this is a tutorial based uh, research channel and um, if you want to get into it um, I can show you how to do this stuff. Okay, let's hold on a sec. Let's turn that down. Okay, so we are going to recap or finish up on this image. I couldn't do any more. Well, I could, you could do a lot more, um, but my eyes were going to pop out of my head and my hand was going to fall off. So, um, okay, so if you haven't seen the video before this, go and have a look. It'll explain everything. And we're going to be looking at the top quarter of this image. Um, I was just interested to have a look at the... Uh, mountains and guys my god um you're not going to believe this stuff you know and we were talking about the surface and how much is rock and how much is this um strange looking defunct sort of machinery mechanically type looking stuff um so i'm gonna be able to show you um if you're new sorry to repeat myself um but you need to pause these um, images and uh, let your eyes adjust because we're having to look through the, all the um, the masking and um, all the crap they put onto this basically so we have to deal with the quality of the image um, yes I do bump the images up um, as big as I, my computer can handle them really um, so this is what we were looking at and in the other image I explained a few things about the uh, perspective and these false false lines um, so okay so it's this image and then we're gonna move into this one which I was doing in color which which looked at uh, the quality of the image just have a quick zap through here I'm going to do on the black and white I'm going to um, show you a couple of um, zoom levels and I want you to pause and just take in what you're looking at now we were talking about the scale of the stuff that we find and it's quite weird for so from the back of this image this stuff is actually bigger than it is in the front of the image which is so strange um, which says to me that um, or, or we did mention that um, the scale of this stuff is so completely similar to the large scale stuff you know that we use from the orbiter images which show them massive um, this is Mars uh, it's the same it seems to be the same on the moon as well and uh, everywhere else if you don't believe me go and check the, um, the videos and there's no doubt that something is going on something is there so this is what we were the quality of this and i've managed to get rid of this so we can see the the quality at the top here and it fades out around about this line and through the rest of the image and is there's quite a lot of clarity if you look at uh, this you know, it looks pretty nice we can see what's going on okay so let's get straight into it and we're going to, oh, something else. Let me just show you here quickly. I thought I'd have a look in here and just see what was going on because it's a, ref, a, a reflection of, um, you know, the opposite direction. So it's a little bit crude. Um, it's not in black and white. This is upside down. So you can see the difference 
there's a difference in the quality from the from the reflection in the lens to the outside of here and we can see these familiar shapes again so okay let's get into here so you can see now um, I could keep going for days and days on this um, but I think it's it's good enough um, for us to um, try and work out what the hell is going on and we talk about the stuff in the in the foreground all the rocks and everything which we'll just briefly have a look at so we have all the rocks and we can see these uh, anomalies poking through part of poking through and stuff this isn't as clear as it was because I had to blur the image out to get rid of the um, that very blocky um, uh, you know the, the the low quality in the top of the image uh, through here yeah okay so we are going to have a look at this stuff so like I say you're gonna have to pause and just check this stuff out <coughs> and uh, I don't know what to say uh, that there, there, there's no rocks here it is it's purely the this this strange so difficult to even say what it is um, I did a video and I, I said it was some it, you know biomechanical type sort of is this what the surface is I mean I can I can only go on on the stuff I find in the image um, it just gets more and more confusing but here it is So we, we're going to look at this a bit closer as well, so you can pause and stuff. So, I mean, even looking at this, you can see where it's slowly coming through. I haven't finished this, um, but does it go further? These are, are the top of these mountains, are they, are they not even um, real? That would take more time and maybe I'll have a look at doing that and just give you a quick recap on it. So like I say, yeah, I had to blur this out to get rid of the, um, just to try and um, soften the, the top part of the image where the, where the quality is much lower. So we're having to do all that. I've sharpened it a couple of times. Um, I could say, you know, you can carry on going. See in that area there, it's completely blocked out. Okay, so you can see here, I haven't quite finished that, but um, you can see the difference. I don't know what to say, I mean, this is what is in the image see the fluffier areas here like I say you know the di there's different areas there's parts which they've missed um, or the software is missed because we believe that there's software that turns these images um, into looking like rock um, it'd be now impossible to do by hand the amount of stuff that they produce
as always taking the you know the shadows where the light is uh, the shapes the stuff that goes into stuff goes up, crosses over itself there's geometric there's round yeah you do have to consider the quality I mean that makes a complete mess of it but um, it's something you'll get used to I've never seen anything like this I don't, out of everything that I've done, I think. But landscape wise, we've never seen anything like this. That one I did of the far side of the uh, Kapinski area crater when we were getting really, really close. I mean, that is that's something else I've got to do some more work on. So let me know if you're coming to any conclusions because I'm, ju I'm just, it's saying to me that this is the surface. It's not, where are we? That information is in here. So it's saying to me that this is completely not anything like what their original photographs were. about the same so we can see this has a smaller scale but it's closer and then when it gets to the mountain range it's much much bigger we've discussed before about scaling and stuff and things like that so I mean are are they as far away as they look no, it doesn't look like that to me. Okay. So let's have a look at the, the lower level. And like I was saying about... I'll quickly go. Sorry for flipping around. Um, just use your pause buttons. So like here, for example, we were so you can't see it in this rendering, but it carries on down and through this so-called ditchy crater type sort of thing. You can see bits of it here. there's a slight blur to it that's why I say pause because um, when I'm working on this stuff you know after like a few hours or something with not even that long um, but when you've been into it that long I mean this stuff is so prominent um, it's mind blown so no, I can't addictive okay this area here just did that very quickly so you can see it's not it's not quite my way but it was like this and there's no absolutely no possible way that the pixels would um, make up this three-dimensional looking mechanical pff. what do you think 
Are there any other research channels uh, watching to, to get in touch with me? Let's put our brains together. People power. That's what it's all about. People got to realise. Across the board, everything. I'm not talking about this. I think it's like I, sp I spoke about the other day. How important is this actually, considering what's going on on Earth at the moment? Um, as important, it's in as important as changing the way we think. incredible I mean I was talking about um, perseverance and stuff <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll quickly show you at the end um, just the weirdest looking stuff um, and there must have been millions of people who have looked at this photograph as well okay let's get a bit closer Now I could imagine on a, a phone screen this might be looking quite quite good at the moment. Let us know. I can't remember which video I did, but it's when we're looking into, you know, the, the cameras and the, the, the type of things to try and work out why we were, this stuff was coming through the images. And we're looking at the sensors, the different types of sensors and how, because there's noise on these sensors and stuff. And we're wondering if, you know, if it was something to do with the noise, the background noise of the images and stuff. And we were, yeah, it's not. But there is one that they use, but it's only it's only used in um, that has any resemblance to this stuff, and that was uh, I think it's called Perlin noise, which is used in 3D programs to produce um, texture. So if anyone knows anything about that, give us a shout. here okay let's start having a So if you're thinking, yeah, this is blurred and, and it, it, it's definitely not a true representation of this stuff that we're trying to trying to bring out. Um, you know, you've got to understand that it's been pulled out of this, which is insane.
when I was talking about the noise and stuff, and I think it was um, even the very early, um, I think it was the Voyagers and stuff, and the sensors that they used as the, you know, the bog standard CMOS sensor and stuff um, had either a, a vertical or a horizontal type of look to it. Um, and if that was the case in this, then this is actually following some sort of landscape. If that was the case with the, the sensors or the, or the, the way the, the, the film, obviously this isn't film, it's digital. And, it, and we were getting down to the noise of the, of the photograph, then it would be horizontal or or um, vertical but this is definitely following the landscape which they present to us crazy so from this point here that's the that's the uh, the mountain range and what you've also got to understand as well uh, this looks quite flat up in front of us but what I've done uh, there's a lot of information which I've pulled from the shadows so you have to imagine that there's some in and outness to this to these structures So we have to bear all that in mind. Look at this. I was so surprised when I did this that I managed to get so much out of it. See this here? Just keep going and going on this. Oh my God, what are they actually looking at? What is actually going on? <clears throat> it's crazy. Look at this stuff. This is quite a cool little area. Just nuts. OK. 
Okay, I was talking about that map. I'll show you which one it is. Um, it's this one here with the the little drone thing. And you can see some discoloration there. That's that's what happens with the tools that I use when it's in color. Um, the stuff in here is really strange and there's plenty of it. I'll just give you a couple of snippets because I've only just started on this. There's one, one bit I want to show you. There's definitely some filters on this. Um, where is it? I'll show you. Anyway, this is coming. Um, there's more examples of everything that I've been talking about. Um, and some very strange looking rocks, as they say. I was talking about the rocks with um, shadows. And these things that have strange false backs type sort of thing to them. All you've got to do is look closely. So I wonder how many people, <coughs> excuse me, have actually looked at this image. Oh yeah, something quick as well. When I was talking about, I don't know if you read the, the um, bit of info on the um, start of the um, oh, the last video well me being a bit of a numpty you can actually edit these photographs in here where are we ooh see now you can do this yourself and and get get to the um first stage where you can start noticing some s stuff for yourself Yeah, so we'll, we'll have a closer look at that. So um, you can go and download some images and start having a look. I'm going to see if we can, because the this um, program seems to vector stuff um, because of the the way we can um, zoom in on it, massively zoom in on it. So some of you guys who are not going to use this program might be able to have some fun with some images. And I can I can show you where to go and where and where where to have a look and stuff. So, tell me what you think. This is uh, completely nuts. Um, it's there. It, it, it's not a it's not a joke. This is the information in the in the image. Yes, it looks completely wrong, but th this is what we have to deal with. crazy okay guys I've uh, I've got tons of stuff coming I don't know what's going on it's um, it's mad I'm gonna try and bring it you know we were looking at the Kapinski crater that's the one that we had that detail where we got so far into it well this is I think it's a, um, a Luna 4 image 1967 or something it's really fluffy I'm having problems getting some stuff out but it's starting to work now um, where is it I think it's uh, gonna be this image remember when I spoke about the lines and we saw the lines from the on that um, that weird that uh, USGS site so cool I'll see you soon bye